Hey everybody, Greg here, and this is a short video about how we measure the impact of the reach in terms of advertising or, you know, the writing we do, content creation, our presence on the web, that kind of thing. And um, I think the common practice is to measure sheer numbers. <clears throat> you know, beginning with, I'll give you an example. There's somebody who is pretty popular on Twitter. They have about a million followers and um, they retweeted an article that I wrote. And of those million people, um, there were about presumably, you know, somewhere around 10,000 that had seen it and clicked through. Or maybe 100,000 saw it, but one out of 10, let's say, you know, 10,000 clicked and read the article that I wrote. So now, I, I wasn't selling a book or anything, so I have no measurable way to know, you know, who finally took action because there was no action to take, but other than just, you know, reading that article. So anyway, but those are the kind of numbers that are typical. You know, you go from a million to 100,000 to 10,000. And if, you, if I was selling a book, I probably would have sold 10 books, you know, that just having a million followers does not equate to you being able to have an impact with a million people. And also, this person who has the million followers, I, I'm thinking, you know, maybe some of those are just zombie accounts, you know, that they, they bought like 500,000 followers, you know, I'm sure that can be done online. So, um, and, and I, whatever, I mean, I, I don't care whether or not my article is popular. The point is that I think a lot of people have hundreds of thousands of followers that aren't really getting online. They're not following. If they are following, they're not paying attention or clicking or whatever. So, um, but instead of measuring our impact based on just the raw numbers of views or clicks or whatever, uh, you know, if you're selling something, I guess you can, you can measure units sold. But what I look at is a lot of the content I'm creating, written content and video content, um, and some podcast audio content, is it's dense, it's of value to those people who want it, who find it. And when I say a value, it might save somebody a lot of money. You know, if they're out buying a computer and I have some suggestions on what they should get, I could save them money. Um, often the suggestions I have are very much, you know, time saving because I show somebody a, a shortcut to do something that took me four hours to figure out. And now I show them how they can do it in a half an hour. Um, or it might just give somebody, you know, more uh, enjoyment in life, you know. So um, I'd, I'd, I'd like to reach more people, but the, the fact is, let's say I reach a million people who just happen to see something, or maybe click but don't read or whatever, versus reaching just a few dozen people, but they really, you know, sat and watched through a half an hour video and went out and applied that in their life, and now it's been transformative. Well. I'd rather reach the few dozen people who, who I had a big impact on rather than, you know, lots of clicks and lots of views and lots of followers where it's really superficial, doesn't get traction and doesn't result in people coming back ever again or whatever. So um, anyway, I, I think we're not yet effective at how we measure our social media impact. I guess that's what I'm getting at. And so um, I suppose surveys would be one way, you know, at the, at the end of an article or something, say, you know, how impactful was this article for you, 1 to 10, and, you know, and then you multiply that by the number of people who responded, and then you get some meaningful number. So if you've got, you know, 100 people that read it and said, hey, this was like a 1 on a scale of 1 to 10 on impact, well, then it, the large number of people doesn't matter, you know, or if you had a smaller number of people that read that article or watched that video and said, hey, that was really impactful and I, I was able to apply it in my life, then do the math and figure out, oh, okay, you know, that, that small number of people ultimately had a bigger impact than this large number of people that just it didn't have an impact. So anyway, it's just food for thought. I'm probably going to be exploring it a little more, and I'll share, uh, share whatever else I come up with on that, that line of thought. So appreciate any comments or feedback that you might have. And let me know how impactful this video was <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10. Have a great day.